With his public favor falling in the polls, the most recent showing only 35% approval, Justin Trudeau is undoubtedly desperate in his pursuit of re-election. And as the saying goes, desperate people do desperate things. So, using the powers of his majority government, Trudeau has done all he can to ensure he wins the next federal election. On December 13th, the Liberal majority passed a bill called C-76. The real purpose of this bill is buried deep within complex legal jargon. However, one of the main things that this bill does is rewrite the current election rules on voter ID. Specifically, many conservatives are saying that there's a loophole which might lead to non-citizens having the right to vote. This is because Trudeau has now made it legal for a voter information card to be a valid form of ID. His critics are saying that this alone could allow countless non-citizens who benefited from Trudeau's open borders policy to vote in the 2019 election. And who do you think they'd vote for? Another one of Bill C-76's failures can be seen with its elimination of the five-year limit on voters living outside the country. Under the new rules, if you were born in Canada, but spent almost your entire life in another country, you will now be able to vote in Canada's election. Even though the laws that the government passes doesn't affect you in the slightest, this could be a massive benefit to Trudeau, as the 2.8 million Canadians living abroad have not had to live under Trudeau's policies. Also, many of them have only been exposed to Trudeau through foreign media, which tends to focus on him being some kind of hot progressive hipster. Bill C-76 can be best summed up by MP Stephanie Cusey. Justin Trudeau is once again attempting to rig the 2019 election, sadly, in his favour. There is absolutely no reason or precedent for the executive branch of government to impose elections regulations without debate in the House of Commons. It is an affront to democracy. Trudeau has also attempted to silence dissenting media while bribing those who will pander to liberal spin. So Justin Trudeau just announced $595 million, so over a half a billion dollars, to quote, help Canada's media sector. Now listen to this. What this initiative is going to do is it's going to quote, help trusted sources in the media based on criteria set by a panel of people selected by Justin Trudeau. So Trudeau just handpicked a group to determine who gets a chunk of a $600 million bribe fund. But here's the best part. You're only eligible to receive the money if Trudeau deems you a trustworthy source. So if he's re-elected and this bribe fund continues, say goodbye to unbiased media in Canada. Except at Wood's Empire, of course. Mr. Speaker, it's been a week since the Liberals announced their undefined, mistargeted, temporary patch, $600 million plus election year bailout for Canada's struggling news industry. Owners and publishers who get million dollar checks and bonuses and partisan big union bosses, not surprisingly, praise the bailout. But dozens of this country's most respected journalists have denounced it because it casts a dark shadow over the independence of their craft. This government just believes the job of the media is to shower praise on the Prime Minister and the job of taxpayers is to pay for it all. To top it off, Trudeau chose the debate commissioner without even consulting any other political party. This alone shows that Trudeau is more interested in keeping his power than he is participating in a fair and balanced election. So what do you guys think? Is he trying to rig the 2019 election? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video.